We're here in Movie Gallery Stadium, the fourth floor of the Stadium Tower, with a special opportunity to talk to some Trojan football players. And my guest today is Levi Brown, quarterback for the Trojan football team. Levi, thanks for joining me here today. You're welcome. Anytime. And uh, as I said, quarterback. And this year, you are starter going into the season. You know it. There was not a, a, a struggle for the, getting that number one spot. How did that make you feel, the comfort level going into this season, knowing you had that starting position? Well, it feels a lot better, that's for sure. It's a lot less stressful. Um, you know, last year I was coming in kind of stressed and impressing myself in practice when I probably shouldn't have been. Um, you know, it's a lot easier to go out there and play when, when you don't have that pressure of, you know, if I mess up, what's going to happen? So it, it makes it a lot easier. You went from, from three to one in almost like a, like a week, right? So you were, you were third and you're kind of mired there in that, that third position and then the injuries put you to one, but then you came out like wildfire and just unbelievable. Like, when, when was your first interception? Was it like four games uh, in or something like that? I don't even remember. I think it was... Uh, Either Monroe or Western Kentucky, yeah. whichever one of them came first. The business, and then, of course, throwing your arm out at the North Texas game. <laughs> it was like, you know, did you yeah. even know that, that you had thrown that much in that I game? I had no idea. They told me at halftime that I had, like, I don't know, like over 300 yards at halftime mm -hmm. and 30-something or 40 attempts or something yeah. like that. And I, I had no idea I had thrown it that much, really. But now I said, like, this year you know that you're the starter and you've gone into How has that – uh, it affected summer, uh, getting ready for this season. Obviously, uh, you're in charge of getting you know the, the the workouts and stuff together and working with the team in the in the off season. How did that help knowing that you had that leadership position locked in? Well, it just, it just helps. Like last year, I didn't really feel like I was in position to to be that vocal leader that you know gets people going and, and gets them out there and you know gets on them when when they need somebody to to get on them. You know if they're slacking or whatever. But this year, you know, I knew from the beginning that I was the starter. You know, it was my responsibility. Responsibility. So that makes it a lot easier to to take that leadership role. You know, I, I've always viewed myself as as a leader by example. You know, I've always done the right things, worked hard, done all that stuff. But I think now knowing that I'm the starter from the beginning gives me that chance to be the vocal leader sometimes too. Now talk a little about the offense uh, going into this season. Uh, are we going to see any changes? Uh, there's been talk about a little more running this season that we haven't seen uh, to kind of shake things up. What are we looking at for the offense this year? Well, I think it'll be similar. You know, mm -hmm. we're not going to change a whole lot because it's work. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't, you know, if it's not broke, you don't, <laughs> you don't try to fix it. Yeah. So, you know, but we are going to do a few things a little different. Um, you know, everybody knows we're going to try to go under center a little bit this mm -hmm. year, which we've been working on, and it, it's looked good for us. So I think we'll do that some. Um, I also think we'll, we will run the ball a little bit more, maybe use a tight end some. Uh, we've got Travis Boyd. Matt Stidham and, and Donnie Crosby at tight end that, that are all looking really good right now. Um, so we're better at that position than we were last year, which is part of why we didn't we didn't use it as much last year. Um, also, Nate Nolan, you know, coming in to be a blocking back will will help. So I do think we'll be under center some, which we didn't do at all last mm -hmm. year, and we will run the ball probably a little bit more, get more of a power running game. But you know, at the same time, we're still going to do you know, what we're known for. You've got, that, out, you've got that core of receivers. Yeah, yeah exactly. and, and Talk about the receiver. I mean, a lot of talent in the receiving core. And as a quarterback, uh, you know, with that arm, it's good to have all those guys yeah. out there to be able to throw to. Yeah, it's exciting for me. We've got more more talent and more depth at receiver than, we, than we've ever had here, I think, definitely since I've been here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. It makes my job easier for sure. Um, you know, that's that's what I, I came here for is to have some receivers, some guys to throw it around to. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's talk a little about the schedule and the season you're coming up here. Obviously, uh, one of the goals is always conference, win the conference, get the conference championship. This year, you guys were picked first. Uh, is that a blessing or a curse to be picked first? Uh, I don't really think it matters. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it doesn't. I don't, I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to preseason stuff because mm -hmm. it doesn't mean anything at all. Mm -hmm. um, you still have to play the game. So... You know, it's an honor, I guess. You know, it's cool that we're getting respect or whatever, but at the same time, it doesn't mean anything. So, whatever, we still got to play. So. Still got to play those games. Now, of course, talking about games you have to play, you start at Bowling Green. Uh, talk a little about the Bowling Green game, uh, your your particular interest in this Bowling Green game. Uh, what, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, you know, the head coach there is the head coach that was at Richmond when I was there. Um, so, you know, it'll be good to see him again. Hopefully we can get a convincing win. I'd like a convincing win at Bowling Green. And how's it to have the, the coach, your former coach, across the field there from you? It'll be, it'll be exciting. Um, you know, I'm not going to let that be my, my focus of the game. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to treat it just like any other game. 
but at the same time, I, w I would like to win that game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the, Easily. The, I would the, like to win it by a large margin. There we'll you put go. It that way. That's good. That's good. But, of course, yeah. now the next game is the game that almost become the traditional game for Troy. You have <laughs> yeah. to play the defending national exactly. champions. Yeah, uh, like three years in a row. Three years in a row, yeah. you, you do that. So talk about playing, going down to Florida and playing Florida again. I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, last year I, I wasn't playing when we played Oklahoma State and Ohio State, but I did get to play at LSU, mm -hmm. obviously, and I loved it. Um, you know, it's the the environment of the game is unbelievable. Um, you know, I don't I don't treat it any different as far as preparation. You know, I don't you know do anything different the week before the game mm -hmm. to prepare. I always prepare the same way, no matter who we're playing. But you know, it's fun when you go when when you run out on the field and there's you know ninety or a hundred thousand people, you know, standing up yelling. It, it's great. So I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, they're picked to to win the national championship. Mm -hmm. So. You know, that, that's what I want. I, w I want to play the best team out there and see what we've got. Now, you, you made a comparison to LSU, and I'm going to make another comparison to the disappointment in that LSU game last year. And one of the things that came up a lot last year was finishing the games and, and letting those games slip away, playing four quarters. Is there any kind of special emphasis on the team this year of making sure that that happens? There has. Uh, Coach Brown's been – he's probably said that. 10,000 times <laughs> since uh, since we ended the last season. Finish, finish, finish. That's that's all we've heard. So, you know, we've that's been one of our main focuses during the off season. And, uh, you know, we, we worked on that in the scrimmage today. We didn't finish so well in the scrimmage today, and, and we talked about that after it. So, you know, hopefully we can do better. Uh, that's also part of, part of why we're putting in some of the under center stuff is, you know, we had some of those fourth and one, mm -hmm. or third and one, where we needed to keep drives going to win the game, and we didn't convert last year. So, you know, hopefully we can we can get that done this year with more of a power running game. Now, uh, obviously, as we mentioned I mentioned earlier, the the conference play and, and facing the conference conference getting seem to get tougher every year and getting bigger competition. Some of the teams that at one time maybe consider some of the weaker in the nation are becoming some of the stronger teams in the conference. Yeah, FIU, how how sure. talking about FIU? And that's a perfect example. And coach even said he feels he, they're one of the strongest teams y'all are going to have to face this season. Uh, have you seen that and are seeing that that the teams are getting a little bit better? The competition you're facing in conference? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, I guess it was three seasons ago now when I first got here, I, I was red shirting, but, mm -hmm. you know, obviously I was I was watching all the games. And, you know, the Sun Belt was good then, but, you know, last year when I was playing, I could tell it got better, and this year it's supposed to be even better again. And, you know, like you said, FIU went from, I don't know, the longest losing streak mm -hmm. in the nation to, you know, competing for the Sun Belt Championship. So that's an unbelievable turnaround they've had. But, you know, that just goes to show how, how – how much the Sun Belt Conference is improving. Now, uh, the goal to get back to New Orleans again this year, or is the goal to go even better than New Orleans this year? <laughs> the goal is to get to New Orleans at least. That's the, mm -hmm. the minimal goal, I would say. And so, uh, but, uh, you know, I've heard some other players talk about, you know, this team feels good. It feels, it feels like the potential to be bigger than that. Right. Do you see any glimmer of that? I mean, obviously you have to play your first game, but in practice, and a lot of folks are saying this is a pretty good Trojan team. Yep. Are you feeling it, feeling that right now? I feel it, definitely. Mm -hmm. There's definitely the potential for that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I'm just going to go out there and, and treat it as a one-game season every week. You know, I'm mm -hmm. going to try to win one game at a time, and, you know, hopefully we'll win a bunch of them and, and see where we end up. I'd like to go somewhere bigger than New Orleans, but you know, we'll just have to see what happens, I guess. And of course, you got to play that first game in Bowling Green. Exactly. As we mentioned, that'll be be a little, uh, little extra star on yep. uh, Levi's calendar there. So, calendar. so, so, uh, but uh, move up to to Bowling Green and get that first one out of the way. Exactly. So, and then then the, then then the fun starts, right? Then so. the fun starts. That's right. <laughs> well, Levi, good luck with the season, and right, uh, thank you. you know, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll see you back in New Orleans or I bigger. Hope so maybe better. All right. Thanks, Levi. All right.